Hey guys, happy Friday. So for today's video, I did reach out to the Facebook group I'm a part of and see if there was any specific topics that anybody wanted me to focus on. When I get a specific topic from the group, I then reach out again, um, asking about it and getting everyone's opinion, see how they're dealing with that specific thing. And so somebody did ask me to speak about the electric shocking sensation that most of us who have MS deal with on a regular basis. So so I did do a video about this um, in the very beginning of the channel. Um, it's something I was dealing with when I was first diagnosed. If you were to ask usually a specialist or a neurologist, they refer to it as uh, Lear meets sign, which uh, not a lot of people call it that. Uh, I don't. But if you Google what you're going through, that's what comes up. And that's what my specialist had referred it to. So it's something that I actually dealt with in the very beginning of my diagnosis. I remember when it started. Um, I was actually just blow drying my hair, flipped my head back, and I got this intense electric shock from my neck down into my legs. And so um, it's something that I was getting for about two to three months after diagnosis uh, when I would do a lot of walking. Um, or do any kind of exercise, I would find that I would get this electric shocking uh, in my spine down through my legs. Um, it's hard to kind of describe exactly how it feels. I guess we just refer to it as an electric shock because that's the best way, but I could also describe it as imagine like your nerves um, and underneath your skin vibrating really fast and like tingling really fast too. That's a good way to describe it. Um, so as I said, I had it for a couple months. Uh, it went away. And then I can't really specifically tell you how long, I'm gonna say about six to eight months ago, mine came back. And I actually get it a lot more frequently now than I did in the beginning. Um, when I do just a basic five minute walk outside um, or I'm just up and down the stairs or anything like that, I'm constantly getting this electric shock feeling. Um, I told my, my specialist about it and again, I don't really think it's a concern on their end. It's just one of the symptoms that people deal with all the time. And when I reached out to uh, the Facebook group and told them my situation, how I had it and it went away, a lot of people actually said the same thing, um, that it was something they had uh, in the beginning of diagnosis, noticed it went away, but then eventually did have it come back. I think majority of people who have MS um, deal with this symptom. I don't think that there's anything you can really do for it. I assume if there was, my specialist probably would have uh, told me about it. Um, when I asked the Facebook group, they kind of said the same thing. There's not a whole lot you can do for it other than stop what you're doing and take a rest until uh, the feeling goes away. So um, again, just one of those things that somebody with MS deals with on a regular basis and it it becomes so normal. There are a few times where I'm just kind of sitting down after getting up and walking around doing some household chores and my legs will be vibrating, you know, and um, I'm so used to it that you almost forget that it's not something somebody deals with on a regular basis. And, uh, you know, I'm really, really used to it. It definitely is a pain, but um, it's just one of those things that you learn to live with. So, um, for anybody out there who is dealing with it and it is a new symptom that you have, you know, I wouldn't be too alarmed by it. Um, it doesn't seem to be too much of a concern, as I said to my specialist. Uh, if you are concerned about it, please talk to your doctor um, and just let them know that you're having the issue. But if you are dealing with it, just make sure you take your time when doing things. Make sure you rest and allow uh, the body kind of to slow down. And I, I find that that really helps. Um, when you're having that shocking feeling uh, happening, which it's so weird, but again, you just deal with it. So I hope you all have a great weekend. Um, we had a little bit of snow yesterday, which sucked. So hopefully it stays away and I will see all of you next week.